Facebook, hello. It's Monday. That faint sound that you hear in the background is Monday Night Football. What a terrible football game. I'm working, so I might actually break this into two parts because someone's going to come knock on my door in a moment. <clears throat> Just briefly, I was gone from social media for a little bit. For no reason whatsoever, by the way. Just every once in a while, if you're not inspired to post, you shouldn't. So, two weeks ago, I was at Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, which we had an unbelievable time. I'm putting up a recap video on my page tomorrow morning. Unbelievable time. And, uh, um, you know, you do a panel there. And people ask you questions. And one of the questions, I think it was asked by a child, by the way, was conceivably, can any DC character appear on Arrow? And, of course, the conceivable answer is, is yes. Just like conceivably, I could run the 100 meters in under 10 seconds. Is it impossible? No. Would I have to take more roids than, like, the entirety of Major League Baseball in the early aughts? Yes. Uh, the, point, the point is, that's a relatively bad example. Of course, any DC person could be on Arrow. But I've been greatly amused reading articles with me stating that certain DC characters will appear on Arrow. Or like, I get the question all the time, who would win in a fight, Green Arrow or Batman? What the F am I supposed to say? Really? It's like, the only answer, the only reasonable answer, unless I wanted to push and go, well, I, I mean, uh, 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 both people are, are uh, both capable fighters, so I, I, I suspect that it would depend on the circumstances. Who, why? I like giving actual answers to questions. So I'm just going to have to come to grips with the fact that these are then manufactured into headlines. People must be super bored. We have an amazing mid-season finale coming up. But that's not what's important. What is important is that this is a good old-fashioned Q&A. Uh, we curated some questions, so big thanks to my buddy Zacho, who's helping out with the page. Uh, nowadays. Still me posting content, but Zacho's helping out. Good guy. So here we go. Questions from actual Facebook friends, if I mispronounce your name. Uh, James Mead, what can Team Amel do to help you get on SNL? Team Amel, as in like people that populate the page? That's an interesting moniker. I just say Facebook friends. Um, what can you do? I really don't think that there's anything to be done. Um, you should start pushing for certain things in your career when you feel like they are attainable. At the moment, uh, I'm not yet there with SNL. But if the number of swear words that my manager used after he saw some TMNT2 footage uh, in a positive way or any indication, I'm moving more in that direction, right? So uh, I would say for now, just stand by. When I want to uh, activate the Facebook community, I will. Uh, Chelsea Ashley says, Tooth truths and a lie about this Wednesday's episode, our mid-season finale, Dark Waters. Unbelievable. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. There are not one, but two Christmas tree lightings. I get bitten by a shark and I'm the only one to wear the arrow suit. Pretty happy with that. McKay Elliott says, do you have, possibly Mackie, do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Die Hard. Uh, my daughter was transfixed by Elf the other day, so I will probably watch that uh, nine or 30 more times between now and Christmas Day. Uh, but Die Hard is the best Christmas movie of all time. Um, and, of course, and I, I watch Vacation every year, but Christmas Vacation every year, but uh, Die Hard, absolutely. Kate Gregorash says, uh, do you have a favorite Oliver line from any of the upcoming episodes you've filmed that you can share? Yes and no. Get to speak Arabic again pretty soon. That's exciting. Um, that was a German accent, by the way, that had nothing to do with Arabic. Uh, yes, there are some lines. Not one that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, ah, there's a good line from this Wednesday. I, I whisper, you're coming with me. It's a good one. Uh, Megan Hammer. 
Is there a favorite stunt you or another cast member has done this year? One that made your jaw drop at how fun or awesome or crazy it was? I do some stunts coming up. First of all, we went hardcore parkour in episode 412. Hardcore parkour. I jumped onto a moving vehicle. Uh, it was pouring rain. Uh, I, I think that it's the greatest parkour sequence that we've ever done on the show. And I did all of it. And I just I got like a stinger on my foot from hitting the ground too hard. There's that. And um, boy, I'll tell you. When you see me on top of a garbage truck, you know shit's about to go down. Part of my language. I will put a warning before this video. <clears throat> uh, Donald R. Uh, DeChicho. DeChicho. <laughs> How about them Eagles and beating the Patriots? That's from uh, my buddy Zach. I wanted that one in there because now his team, the Bengals, are the number one seed. And that'll, that'll obviously stick. Um, Jamie Snyder, what is your favorite trick arrow that Oliver has used so far? You know, I'm kind of partial to him firing a technology arrow into a computer and um, uh, stealing $40 million from Adam Hunt in the pilot and then anon anonymously redistributing it to uh, the, the poor people in, in Starling City or people in need, as the case may be. like that one. Kaya Otto. Steven, how did you first meet Jared Padalecki? I met him for the first time at Comic-Con, I think. The first time that I met Jensen was at Upfronts in 2012. They were there. Supernatural was going into its uh, 17th season at that time. And uh, I met Jensen and was not yet aware of the ferocity that is the Supernatural family fandom and uh, the SPN family as it were, until I posted the photo of Jensen and I, and, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I met Jared that d d July at Comic-Con. Jacob Berza, uh, if the Green Arrow would wish something for Christmas, what would it be? Well, maybe that he wouldn't have to be the Green Arrow anymore. Maybe the city, uh, you know, would get good. He'd actually probably want some of his friends back, you know, Moira and Tommy and uh, his dad and, you know, stuff like that. Lee Wesney. When you were growing up, did you have a fave cartoon that you couldn't get enough of? I did enjoy the Animaniacs, which makes it fun that um, I am now uh, on the Water Tower, where they live, on the Warner Brothers lot. I gotta go check that out. That may have been a mistake that I made, not going to see that this weekend. Um, but wrestling was my thing. Wrestling. All morning. All Saturday morning, all Sunday morning, all Saturday evening, all Saturday afternoon. I would watch it the entire weekend if I could. Um, I'm in Boreas. Who would win? Green Arrow or Casey Jones? With or without Team Arrow and the Turtles? Comment. Okay, two more questions, and then I'm going to have to break this up into two parts. Uh, Leanne uh, Millward says, Are we having a fan fest in the UK this year? I went to a great show in Birmingham last year, and uh, I'm working on getting back to that. Um, it's looking decent, but my hiatus schedule is um, in question at the moment. Stephanie Dawkins, will you end up popping the question to Felicity? I know. Um, well, I have a ring. It's generally the next step. All right. Okay. Facebook, thank you. Part two is coming up.